Welcome to day nine of the macOS and iOS security internals advent calendar. Today we will be looking at Pack again because there are a number of open questions that uh, we as a security researcher want to dig into. So the question we want to look at today are basically uh, what do we need to do to have Pack in our own apps? Because uh, by default, stuff that you compile on macOS will not have Pack. Um, then we want to know how many bits of, uh, are actually used in the pointers in macOS for Pack. And then uh, a question that always comes up is, okay, so if I have a Pack protected pointer and it's modified, will actually the auth opcode uh, trigger an exception or will it just return an invalid uh, result uh, that's something we will look into and then finally we will have a short test if pack is actually different between different apps and uh, so on in order to play around with uh, pack i have created this little example code here uh, this uh, excitement code basically does nothing else than create a function pointer uh, to the main function and then calls the function pointer itself. So that's a recursive function uh, that should uh, basically do nothing else than crash. So if we want to run this, uh, we can uh, do this by basically uh, just trying to uh, First compile it so we have to uh, GCC it we use the architecture arm 64e uh, we call it arm 64e basics and that's the same C file so when we now try to run it uh, it's killed so this kill is not coming from the actual uh, crash. Uh, this kill comes from something else. So to figure out what the kill comes from, we should uh, go and have a look into the log. So here we are looking for everything that concerns ARM64E. So let's run this and try it again. And now we get here the uh, error message that basically the kernel uh, has this uh, uh, message for us and this comes from the mach loader inside the kernel and it basically says that uh, arm64e basics cannot be run because it's built against the preview arm64e abi and this is exactly the problem at the moment apple uh, allows developers to run this kind of code but not on a normal system so uh, we can have a look into the the kernel and inside the kernel we can see here there is a, a tunable inside the kernel and this tunable is called arm 64e preview avi it's a boot argument so dash arm64 preview abi and um, yeah this is what we need to set otherwise we will not be able to uh, run any this kind of code and when you look into where it's used you will see that inside the mach loader they actually say here that this is uh, a preview abi and that you are not allowed to uh, to run this here unless you are a platform binary or you have this uh, preview avi thing so um, that's why we actually need to set this boot argument uh, if we want to have any kind of luck with uh, using this So we can basically um, set this boot argument and 
and reboot the uh, Mac Mini. And of course, this is now uh, rebooting and uh, we are kicked out uh, for now. So we need to wait until it uh, allows us to log in again. It takes a short while. Yeah, there it is. So now we are there, we can go to desktop um, 64E basics and now we can run ARM 64E basics and this time we get a segmentation fault but this time the problem arises from the fact that we are calling the main function recursively and this will ultimately crash. I have now changed our basic example a little bit. Um, so that the pointer is read and uh, written to uh, because otherwise we will actually not have an off opcode inside our uh, binary and so if you want to look at how off works we should actually have um, uh, this inside uh, the code uh, now uh, we can compile this and this time uh, just use LLDB, uh, break set n on main. Uh, we run. So now we can single step through the code. And as you can see here, uh, at this point, we have a pointer in x16. Is our pointer uh, we now step one further and now uh, it is protected with pack and we can see here it completely what bits are actually protected by pack and the rest is then the normal plain text uh, pointer so now uh, we can step a bit further and as we can see here we have here an out set a uh, opcode and let's see what happens um, with x16 when we run it. So uh, we step one further. And now we can see, oh, okay, uh, it is now the plain text pointer. Let's restart this. And we single step, 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 step. We can look at x16. And we now see, okay, it is protected. And uh, here we can see it's this time a different pack because of course the keys have changed. So now um, what we can do is we can modify our x16. So we make it x16 plus 1. So when we see it, look at this, we see how oh, it's different now. And now we can single step over the out uh, system call, uh, um, uh, up code. And you see nothing happened. Uh, there is no uh, exception raised. Now we can see uh, what happened with our x16. You can now see, oh, okay, this is the playtext pointer, but uh, there is the flag here that this was illegal during authentication and when we now continue to run this uh, the code will actually realize this and uh, break with special command uh, which tells iOS or macOS that this is a pointer authentication error. So you can see we get here the possible pointer authentication failure detected. So uh, that shows to you that basically uh, uh, just having a, uh, a broken pack inside uh, x16 or anywhere else uh, basically uh, does not raise the exception. The exception is raised when this value, the illegal value, is later used. Now let's have a look at this example he code here. 
what I've done here is basically I'm taking a, a naked pointer of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I apply all different um, codes on it, all keys. So the IA, IB, DA, and DB key, and uh, I print the resulting pointer out and I sleep 100. And what is also happening is that he, there's a recursion happening here that basically uh, the stack is used and uh, after five recursions the stack is dumped, the hex dump tool. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, we, just be, uh, we are just able to see uh, what's on the stack when we run this code. So uh, now let's try this. We run the ARM64E uh, test and what we can see here is we have uh, the stack usage here. Um, we have, uh, this is our pointer that is, uh, or this is our, our buffer that is used inside the code. And um, we have our uh, protected pointers here on the stack. And then you can see uh, we have 888884, 8883, 8882, 881, and uh, 0. So these are the different recursion levels. And then you can always see um, here the return addresses. Uh, always protected with different pack values uh, because uh, of course on the stack uh, um, the stack pointer is part of the um, uh, protection and so every time you see a different pack protected value because uh, the depth of the stack of course changes so down here we see we have the IA we have the IB DA and DB and uh, it's maybe best if we just copy this over and let's just remember this here now let's exit this and run it again and um, what i can already tell you is uh, these values have all changed so when we look at this we can see absolutely everything has changed here so uh, in every evocation of this program, um, all the keys seem to be completely different. But maybe you have heard in the past that uh, stuff is shared between processes. And uh, how can that be? How can this here be different every time we run it? Um, let's try this again, run, run again, and you will see once again these are different values so how can that actually uh, be the the reason is quite simple uh, and i will show you in a in a moment uh, so what i need is i need a second instance here and I will now run this ARM64E test in here. And when you look at this here, you will now see uh, something that's uh, weird because this value is the same as this one. And this value is the same as this one. And the reason for this is that the IA and DA key are shared among all processes that have the same assigned shared region ID. So uh, because this is the same code, obviously they share the same region ID, um, but only if they are running at the same time, because every time we terminate it, uh, the shared region ID is basically discarded. And then when the process runs the next time, uh, the shared region ID is uh, restored. Here we can try the same and uh, the 100 seconds have now expired here. Let's run this again. 
And you can see that again, the IA and DA is the same, but the others have changed on the next invocation. And uh, we can try this again and again and again. Every time uh, this is what we're getting here. And um, this is exactly what we were expecting. As long multiple processes with the same shared region ID run, uh, they will share the uh, IA and the DA key, but the IB and the DB key are always reassigned. So now you can see, okay, let's copy this ARM64E uh, test code and make it ARM64E uh, test2. And let's run this. And look at this here, or oh, this here uh, terminated in between. So you can now say, see, oh, this is still the same uh, code. And this is because both of them are literally the same code. Uh, even though I recompiled it, it's still the same uh, code. Yeah. Uh, now let's see what happens in, if we uh, if we GCC this Try this and you see it's still the same because internally is still the same binary. Um, all the identifiers are still the same and we can only change this if we have a different identifier, a different team ID in the binary or if we have a special entitlement uh, that tells us we use a different shared region ID.